exchange student from Ukraine has found herself in quite the predicament. Good evening, I'm Febin Kasahun. And I'm Hannah Bueller. That student is studying in Toronto, but with Russia's invasion of her homeland, she has nowhere to go once her studies are done. 7 News reporter Jocelyn Person on the story. The explosion that you see and hear sent from parents of an 18 year old student. That student is on the other side of the world attending Seneca College in Toronto, helpless as she watches what's unfolding in Ukraine. My name is Anastasia Sobol. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Ukraine. And my parents um, right now in the center of the war at this time. And it's really bad there. They wake up with. Um, air raid like alerts and they fall asleep with air raid alerts. Anastasia's semester is coming to an end and she can't return home to her parents. That's why Lori Gamick is now stepping up. She was Anastasia's host mother when the teen was an exchange student in Western New York. Gamick is reaching out to her local officials in an effort to bring Anna back to Batavia. The wait time on a visitor visa on Saturday, it was a 359-day wait time, and as of last night, it was up to 505 days. Um, her semester ends on April 22nd, and she's like, her parents have lost all their money, the, everything that they had saved. Time was ticking for the 18-year-old, but she tells me there is a plan. I was thinking to get a job and work the whole summer if I won't be able to get to New York and stay with Lori and Jim. So you'll just stay on like on campus and just work. So campus, it's pretty expensive, but I'll try my best to work for as many jobs as possible just to just to pay for residence and stay here and send the rest of money to my parents. She is just too smart too. She's just such a wonderful person to have it stop because of the, the war in her own country. I miss my host family a lot. And I really need family right now. I really do. And if it's possible, I'd love to just be with them, just give them a big hug and tell them how much I'm grateful for them. Lori says that she has hope in getting Anna to where she needs to be. Jocelyn Person, 7 News, Batavia.